So I'm delighted to present this year's 2018 NAS Award for Scientific Reviewing, which this year happens to be in the field of structural biology, to Adrian Bax of the National Institutes of Health. Structural biology sits at the intersection of chemistry, biology, and physics, and at its heart seeks to explain one of the pressing questions of our existence, namely, how do complex forms of inanimate, macro, of inanimate molecules ultimately give rise to living organisms such as ourselves. Dr. Bax is widely known for his lucid revelatory reviews and pioneering technical concept pieces on the development and application of novel biomolecular NMR methods, particularly multidimensional techniques, which have allowed us to better understand how biological macromolecules are organized, how they interact with each other and their small molecule ligands, and how they dynamically flex in time to perform their cellular functions. Dr. Bax's work has helped to inspire and transform both the science of a generation of spectroscopists and the field of structural biology at large. Congratulations on this well-deserved honor. Thank you, James, for these uh, kind words. Uh, I'd like to start out by thanking the selection committee for uh, honoring us and honoring our NMR work, really, um, and to annual reviews for their gener generous sponsorship of the award. Um, it's a particularly hum humbling experience considering the exciting work that's going on in the other disciplines in structural biology uh, in recent years, that is crystallography and electron microscopy. So, I feel it is a little bit of a, or a big sign of recognition that NMR has a big role to play as well. So that's particularly pleasing. Of the long list of people that I'd like to mention and acknowledge that have been key in, in doing the work that, that we've done over the years, I'd like to limit it to just two. Uh, first, there is my long-term girlfriend from 37 years ago, now my wife actually. I just wanted to make, just wanted to make sure she was paying attention. <laughs> um, without her loyal support, we wouldn't have been able to do what we did, and especially myself. I mean, it, words can't express it. Of the uh, enormous list of incredible colleagues and mentors that I've had the pleasure to work with over the, the past uh, 35 years at the NIH, um, I just like to mention one in particular, and that is Dennis Torsia, who was there when I arrived and who's been key in the work that we, we did over those years. In particular, already right from the start, he pointed out to me that incorporating stable isotopes in proteins by using cloning and overexpression in bacteria wasn't cheating. People thought you had to work on natural proteins and get those from a slaughterhouse. And he said, no, the way of the future, and he was correct, of course, is doing cloning over expression. And that made the work possible that, that we did in the next 35 years. Um, then there is the uh, large list of exceptionally bright postdocs uh, that I've had the, the pleasure to work with and colleagues. And I consider the award a tribute to, to all of us. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> 